Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know, I know, I haven't uploaded for ages and it's just that revision just had me locked up for the past month but not too long to go and hopefully it'll all be over. Right now I'm doing the 2022 physics paper 1 the day before the exam and I talk more about how I felt for it the day before and the day after later in the video. Hope your GCSEs are going well so far if you're doing your GCSEs but today was literature paper 2. So literature paper today I'll be honest with you and I'll tell you that I wasn't as prepared for Inspector Calls as I should have been compared to Macbeth and Christmas Carol where I did quite a lot of exam practice like essay practice had to depend on the last day and obviously you can't go over everything in the last day because you're not going to remember it in depth. I limited myself to doing two characters Sheila and Inspector Ghoul and one theme which was based on predictions I think Mr. Everything English said agenda so I decided to do gender and I would say I got kind of lucky because one of the question this year was like the life of women at the time of the saying of this play or something like that and I think I wrote a decent essay but not as good as I wanted to to be honest I think I did better in the poetry which I'm happy was my last digest because I knew like four to five quotes and I actually compared it to kamikaze to be honest the real reason was because I couldn't remember anything about Ozymandias like it all just slipped out of my head the only poem I could remember like, only the first poem that came into my head was kamikaze so that's why I decided to use it but yeah tomorrow I got physics and computer science coding coding I'm at like a 6.5 out of 10 in terms of my preparation but I think I can bump that up to a 7 7.5 like an hour's worth of revision finished a uh, physics 2022 paper and it was actually wasn't that hard you know so I hope the 2023 paper is hopefully easier as well let's get started I'll be honest and say that I didn't go crazy with the last minute revision of that night like I did with the other exams since it was the last exam before half term so I decided to finish off whatever was left on the train. Obviously got no footage of the exam hall but if this video gets 500 likes then maybe next time I might slip in some cheeky footage just for you guys. Initially I thought that would make a good thumbnail but just scrapped it for the classic one at home. I didn't get back home earlier since it was a full day of exams because I had computer science and physics so I was much more tired. Alright, so have I got a lot to tell you. Yesterday I did my physics and computer science coding exam and thankfully physics was not the hardest exam I've ever done for a paper one because I only really remember messing up on two questions. The first one was basically where you had to calculate the vertical height using the equals to mgh formula. I did everything right but I wrote 0 0.015 meters and it's actually supposed to be 15 meters because it just slipped out of my mind that megajoule is actually a million joules and not 1000 joules so hopefully that's only one mark lost and the other one was where you had it was like a six mark and you had to explain the method for how they obtain the results for the IV characteristic of a filament lamp the one is like um, on both sides of the axis in like, uh, like a curve and I didn't write anything wrong in my explanation but I did miss out a crucial point which could be worth quite a few of the six marks and that was that you have to say that you have to uh, reverse the potential difference to get the curve on the negative side of the graph and that was quite annoying as well but overall physics I'm very happy with but computer science paper 2 on the other hand let me just say if you don't do edXL for computer science then you lot are so lucky because this is the first time that during a GCSE exam I actually felt so lost like question 1 and 2 okay obviously I got those right they were easy also managed to write a decent code for question 6 which I found out to be right as well thanks to my friend but question 3, 4 and 5 basically none of them give a correct output obviously I gained quite a few marks 2 and 4 because I knew everything I was doing. It was only like a few stuff that was getting me the errors, but I just didn't have enough time to fix it. And number three, I just didn't know what to do because it was just, it was like a multiple choice in terms of coding. So that was a bit messed up as well. So it was definitely wasn't the best GCC exam I've had so far. Try to stop thinking about it and just pray that the grade boundaries are so low this year and at least get a seven or miraculously get an eight. Over these holidays, I'm just going to focus on maths, French and sciences paper two mainly because I personally think that biology paper two will be the hardest science exam. I know the quality and the length of this video hasn't matched the type of videos that I've made before but I just had to get something out and I wanted to share my experience for my GCSE exams. Do tell me if you have any video recommendations that you want me to make over these holidays. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.